The mathematical expression we developed for the first law of thermodynamics, or the energy equation, often requires knowledge of the properties of our system such as internal energy and enthalpy. In this series of presentations, we will learn how to determine the properties of pure substances. A pure substance is one which has a fixed chemical composition throughout. A pure substance does not have to be a single element or compound. A mixture of various elements or compounds can also be considered a pure substance as long as the mixture is homogeneous. For example, air is often considered a pure substance. Pure substances exist in different phases. A phase is identified by having a distinct molecular structure which is homogeneous throughout. In the solid phase, molecules are arranged in a three-dimensional pattern, or lattice, which is repeated throughout. The molecules cannot move relative to each other, but continually oscillate about their equilibrium positions. Recall that the internal energy of a substance is a measure of its molecular activity as well as the energy associated with the binding forces in the atoms and molecules. The energy of the molecules is proportional to the temperature of the substance. Adding energy to the substance increases its molecular activity and, therefore, its temperature. At sufficiently high temperatures, the energy of the molecules may reach a point where the intermolecular forces are partially overcome and groups of molecules break away. This is the beginning of the melting process. In the liquid phase, molecules can rotate and translate freely. As more energy is added, more binding forces are overcome and the substance begins to vaporize. In the gas phase, molecules are far apart from each other and move about at random. Because the molecules in the gas phase are at much higher energy levels than those in the liquid and solid phases, the internal energy of gases are much greater than those of liquids and solids. It's important to note that a mixture of multiple phases of a pure substance is still considered a pure substance.